Welcome to DevKit Weekly. This week we're diving into the Thunderboard Sense 2 Sensor 2 Cloud Advanced IoT Development Kit from Silicon Labs. Firstly, I'm sure you can already notice how compact the board is, so it only makes sense for such a small board to have such a big name, and despite its size, it's packed with a ton of really incredible features. It hosts a range of sensors coupled with a multi-protocol EFR32 radio. Additionally, users can access a mobile app that offers Bluetooth communication and cloud connectivity, and it also has an onboard J-Link debugger. The vast range of sensors is really no exaggeration, totaling six different sensors, all with different capabilities. Uh, the sensors include a relative humidity and temperature sensor, a UV and ambient light sensor, a pressure sensor, and an indoor air quality sensor. Uh, not to mention it also has a six axis inertial sensor and a hall effect sensor. If the list of sensors wasn't enough, a couple of other unique features that I should mention are the digital microphone and the high brightness LEDs. If you still don't think you've heard enough about the features that come on the Thunderboard, got good news for you guys, got a lot more features to talk about. Like I already mentioned, the Thunderboard has a multi-protocol radio, and to go along with that, it has a 2.4 gigahertz radio configuration with an onboard antenna. As far as power goes, the board has an 8 Mbit SPI ultra low power nor flash for local storage. How does the board plug in, you ask? Well, you can do so using the USB virtual COM port. Now what I think is really awesome about this development kit in particular is the Thunderboard app that connects to it. Uh, the app is accessible on the iOS App Store or in the Google Play Store. The iOS version is implemented in Swift while the Android is implanted in native code and the source code is available on GitHub. As you can see on my phone here, some features that the app include are the ability to view the sensor data, you can control the LEDs, detect button pushes, and you can even stream some of the data to the cloud. The kit isn't very expensive. If you want to buy one, you can for $21.27 from DigiKey, or thanks to DigiKey, you can enter this week's raffle and try to win one of 20 of these boards that we're giving away for free. Thanks for watching this week's DevKit Weekly. I'll see you guys next week.